Miracle Eaters, this is Hien and Amber. Uh, welcome to our marriage building blocks for the Wolfpack family. And today we're going to be talking about ro uh, equals versus roles. Uh, I want to say the foundation of this is that, you know, what is marriage? Like, who created it? Like, what's the purpose? Is it just a piece of paper? Uh, you know, if, why can't we just live together, right? But the fact is, is that you know, marriage was created by God. And so God had already pre-planned this with a design that, uh, and a role that the husband's supposed to play and the wife's supposed to play. If we're not playing these roles that has been designed, it kind of goes off balance, it doesn't you know, work, and you know, we get frustrated, because we're kind of designed and built for a certain way, or a certain role that we're supposed to play. And if we're not playing that, that puts that responsibility on her or vice versa. And so the roles that I want to talk about are the equal, well, you know, first of all, it's just before we get into roles, that like, we want to talk about the equality. Like we're all equals, like, you know, equal rights and... Well, basically, and what he, I think, is trying to say is, like, just because you have roles in your marriage doesn't mean that you get to abuse the other person um like god created all of us equally like we're made in his image if you will if you read your bible i don't know if you are a believing a bible believer um but if you read your bible god created man and woman in his image so that in and of itself is like the the equalizer so we both have the right to speak our mind to um, live our life to um, to worship God and all these basic basic rights kind of like um, the Constitution right he says mm -hmm. all men are created equal and they give us the pursuit right. of happiness and life liberty should yeah. happiness thing and, 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 and of course like you know uh, as the husband playing the role of the husband and being the spiritual leader, uh, you know, not being the dictator, but yeah. also is you know to you know have wisdom and con and I talk to my wife and you know win her heart in the decision that I think we should go uh, and get her input and her thoughts on it, her perspective that we never might have considered or even thought about you know because we're like hey you know it makes money let's go do it but she's like but wait have you thought about who might be affected and how their lives might change and the friendship and whatever and I'm like oh i didn't think about that i was just like hey there's money there and let's go get it you know mm -hmm. uh, so uh, it is foolish if we don't heed and take her opinion into consideration yeah like you're as a wife I'm called to be his helper. So part of that, me being his helper, is him allowing me to help him. So he needs to come to me and talk to me and mm -hmm. I can give him good advice. I can counsel him. I can encourage him. Um, and none of those things can happen if he's just being a machismo, gonna dictator, you know, mm -hmm. and just, Kind of like my way or the highway situation that's not what we're talking about so right and so when a situation comes up we assess it we get our input we talk about it well what about this what about that and then when if we make a decision that's against her uh input we also need to win her heart over into why we think we should go that direction despite mm -hmm. what she told me you know yeah don't just be like well i think this is better and pull the trigger and go and do you know like pull the trigger on the decision mm -hmm. um and yeah. we can't win her heart then we really need to consider uh and and really you know not make a quick uh, on the spot decision uh, and i would you know like say you know basically it's a it's a red flag. If your wife isn't on board with you, it's a red flag for you to really wrestle with that decision mm -hmm. and take some like, contemplate, yeah. do your pros and cons, and make sure that you truly do want to decide the way you think you want to decide. Mm -hmm. So you have to do more research, get more evidence, and present that to her, and uh, you know, win her thoughts through that. Because mm -hmm. in the in the process of you know research, you might 
unveil some more things that we haven't considered mm -hmm. also and that leads into more discussion mm -hmm. <coughs> on the other side of that is for the wife to respect her husband so if i disagree with him i'm not supposed to just like yell at him and berate him and you know beat you him so. into <laughs> submission to mm -hmm. my my idea no i'm supposed to respectfully discuss and um not tell him he has to do this but i feel strongly about this and here's why and give him that respectful communication mm -hmm. without any manipulation or you know mm -hmm. any of that stuff and we are not perfect at this mm -hmm. by any means just to put that out <laughs> right like and we're still working on it we've been married coming up on 10 years this year and it's still a learning learning curve mm -hmm. right right <laughs> and ultimately the decision falls on the man's responsibility whether that decision goes bad or good it falls on my responsibility so even if i took her advice and it went sour and bad i can't see hey i told you so and i just you know and blame her no i am i'm supposed to be taking full responsibility responsible responsibility for that decision <laughs> and even went wrong i would have to then you know do whatever i need the consequences pay the consequences for that now if i took her decision and it went good that's good you know and if i if, even if i went against her, her what, yeah. so yeah. basically went, yeah. he is saying if he takes my advice or not he is the one who made that final decision because he's in the place of the authority the highest authority mm -hmm. um it helps if you kind of think of it like the military structure like the general has advisors but he still makes the decision mm -hmm. and if whatever decision he makes there are consequences, mm -hmm. good or bad, and he's responsible for that consequence. Not the person who suggested it, but he is. All right, and I also want to go over, uh, uh, like I was kind of, you know, when I, when I was driving Uber back in the day, I picked up this one guy and he was going through a divorce and I was like, what's going on? He's like, yeah, you know, she's just out sleeping with other guys and all of a sudden I'm like, well, okay. And but the fact is, is, if a situation like that does happen, we are still responsible for her sleeping <laughs> around because apparently we weren't leading we weren't being loving we weren't being there for her it all falls on the man's shoulders and we take full responsibility for that yeah there's really beautiful imagery in the bible um about a man loving his wife and tending to her and it's like gives you this metaphor of a garden and so the man is in the, the imagery is tending to his garden he's pulling the weeds he's pruning he's you know giving loving attention and care and that makes such a big difference mm -hmm. in your marriage if um, if the wife is able to respect her husband whether or not he's being respectable and if the wife uh, excuse me the husband is able to love the wife in an understanding way whether or not she's being lovable and really it's i don't know have you ever been in a fight with someone who just wouldn't fight back like it's hard to stay angry at someone who won't yell back at you um so it's kind of like that you know like even if your partner is not doing what they're supposed to do we're called to do what we're supposed to do um, and it makes it easier for that partner then to notice and make a change and turn and do what they're supposed to be doing. Mm -hmm. And um, so I was, you know, continue talking to that guy, and he's like, "Well, he's like, okay, well, what do you do when she's like wearing the pants of the house? Like she, she's like, you know, I, I kind of mentioned that. I was like, well, that's, making orders, yeah, making <laughs> orders, and and that's kind of how you see it's already happening where she's not playing her role." of respecting her husband and she's wearing the pants as in she's being the leader rather than him and so he doesn't lead and then so he becomes a sub abdicator yeah he abdicates his role and his responsibility to the wife He's like yeah she'll take care of it i'll just kick back and be lazy and we kind of naturally want to do that we want to just like yeah she, we got someone to figure things out we want to just sit on, sit on the couch and do Easy whatever he's alive but then as we're abdicating we're in sin we're not playing our role and then she gets more and more frustrated because then she's being a, a dad, a husband, 
and a mom and and you know and a wife and he's just you know living it up you know <laughs> uh, and so eventually she's like you know I'll, you know what you know I'm done I'm gonna do it my way and you know figure it all out and mm-hmm. you know disrespect the husband and it just starts to drift apart from that point on mm-hmm. so it's just kind of I mean you know you can see you know maybe some of your friends or not see if that kind of resonate with you guys if they're not playing their roles right if someone's wearing the pants in front of the family that they're not supposed to or the husband's not leading he's just like absent or not there uh, those are just part of the roles that are just the foundational building blocks where they're not you know, living up to okay someone once told us that um, the man is the leader no matter what whether he's leading or not leading he's still leading um, and that kind of like trickles down into the whole rest of the family the wife the kids everything um like if he's a poor leader then the wife ends up overcompensating or something like that would happen and it's or do you poor, remember poor like to her kids and, yeah. yeah like it affects how however the man of the house is behaving it affects the entire rest of the house mm-hmm. is i guess what i'm trying to say so then how do two sinners you know <laughs> turn around from all this and you know, go against what, what they want to do, but against what they're they're supposed to do in their roles, and that really takes a, a spiritual uh, power to change our hearts to uh, do a heart surgery uh, in a sense uh, in our understanding of God and who Jesus Christ is and what He has done for us. Um, and once we go through that understanding, then out of that outpouring of the love of God and His grace on us. Uh, we would repent and also outpour that love to one another and to the people around us. Uh, that's a little something more deeper down the line that we probably don't want to get into right now. But we just want to kind of, you know, let you guys be aware of what's out there and if you, you know, resonate with some of the stuff that we're saying. And if you guys want to know more, please comment below of, you know, what you're experiencing. If you guys need any, any uh, you know, probably your encounters that we can talk about in our next video. And... Uh, and Mom go from there. Hi, oh. baby. <laughs> okay, Penelope, we're doing a video now, so we're going to have to help you in a little bit, okay? Yes? Or? Yeah. Alright, so let's see what else is on the list. I think well, we're almost done. Well, this is our first run, right? We're going to do another one? Uh, well, actually, we're going to probably make this our first run and then. Really? So, so our next video is going to be um, <laughs> Respect and Love. And uh, we wanted to talk about our needs. And, uh, you know, we desire respect and she desires love. But it's hard for us to be loving, and it's hard for her to respect the man, because sometimes we mess up, and or we don't, we're not, you know, we're just a, a big, big screw up. And well, she and also for like us. you have all those like familial patterns that, that she you noticed deal with as so, we like, live with each other over the time. The ways like, you like, grow up speaking to each other, and we have children in our laps now. Yeah. <laughs> The, yeah. like, like how your family yeah. growing up interacted yeah. with another impacts yeah. how you interact with yeah. your new right. family like, with your spouse like and how, your children right. and so like learning how yeah. to yeah. Maybe, yeah. Being very, 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 so like how you squeeze the toothpaste she might not like how I do it but I might not like how she does it and preferences and things like that we can't turn this in we gotta redo it so no we don't it's, it's fine, but we just fine. We're just gonna push it out there, and we'll clean it up later uh, with, with other versions. So. But yeah, that's all we have for now. Is that? Is there any more? Um, I don't know. I don't think so. All right, cool. Well, thank you guys, and we'll see you in the next video. And I hope this helps. Talk to you later. Bye. <laughs> so much noise.